Hi everyone, this is Katya. If you are new here, welcome to my channel. Thanks for stopping by and visiting. Today I don't have a really big card tutorial for you other than the one you're seeing here, but I wanted to show you something that is new to me that I don't know that I've ever seen on any other YouTube channel or any, anywhere else. So I thought I'd share this with you. Now a lot of die sets like this one called Fantasy Flowers Die Set from Alex Siberia Designs, they come in separate pieces. So like all the leaves you would want to cut those out in green all of the stems you'd want to do that in green too and the flowers a different color now I'm working on a silicone mat so it's non-stick so if I put tape on it it's nothing will stick to it but you know how you take your die cuts and you put them in groupings I do that too and a lot of people that I've seen on YouTube will actually take um, the tape and put some powder on it to make it less sticky but I've discovered a new way that I think is way better and I'm excited to show it to you. Now, oftentimes you wanna use different colored cardstock to cut out the leaves and the stems. And then for the floral pieces, the petals, you'd wanna do either from a pink or red or orange or whatever other color. So you'd wanna group those together. Well, in this case, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna probably do the stems in a completely different color, like maybe a darker stem than the leaves. Um, but here's here's my tip. Take a piece of facial tissue, okay? This is like the tissue that you bring when you have a cold and you need to wipe your nose, and it's two-ply, so I'm pulling this apart. And then this piece here is extremely thin, and I don't know if you know where I'm going with this, but this, to me, is perfect. I have a weird sensory thing with powder, and I don't like using powder um, even when I have to do the, the embossing stuff where I have to get that anti-stick going. It just drives me nuts, so I do that over my trash can because I don't want to touch it. But I'm basically putting these dies directly down on the tissue, and then I'm going to grab some tape and grab that all together. And you're gonna, you're gonna just be amazed at how well this works. So I'm grouping all the leaves together because I want them in green, and then I'm just using this purple tape here. And what I'm gonna do is just cut off a little bit of the facial tissue from the bottom. And again, I'm working on a silicone mat. It's actually a place mat <laughs> that I bought that we don't use, so I'm just using it in my craft room. But I'm cutting off the excess because I don't need that much, and it's gonna be, um, sticking around the edges anyway once I'm done putting the tape on. And the reason why you want the silicone mat or something non-sticky is because when I put this tape down, I don't want it to stick to anything else. Um, so I'm gonna use this purple tape, and this is like a painter's tape. You can use, you could even use washi tape if you want, or even scotch tape is fine too. So I'm going over the edge there and I'm putting that tape down directly over my die cuts that are sitting on top of that one ply piece of facial tissue. Here's the second piece. And now what you have is, you'll you, when you lift this up, you'll see the facial tissue on the other side. And that doesn't matter. That's not going to impact any type of cardstock that you cut with it. But what's nice about it is the tape will hold the die cuts together, but it won't... Um, the tape won't stick to anything because it's already got tissue on it. So I'm going to show you how this works when I run it through the die cutter. So here I am trimming off just a little bit of that excess and rem and just remember that tape is just holding all of those dies together and to me this is great because I don't have to worry about any powder residue or anything like that but my die cuts stay together and that tape is not sticky at all on the parts that are not touching the dies because I have the facial tissue on there. You could even use toilet paper, you could use a paper towel, just be careful about the thickness. You could even use tissue paper and I'll demonstrate that a little later on in the video as well too. But watch it watch how well this works. When I pull this up and pull the die cuts off, a lot of them just fall out of the die itself. But what's nice is that even though you have that little piece of tissue paper on the first round of die cuts, you won't have it on the ones going forward because they're already popped out. And look at how clean that is. All of the die cuts are being held in place and that tissue paper I'm sorry, that um, facial tissue is holding um, or making the tape non-sticky on those areas. So I'm gonna just keep them like that in groupings because that way I don't have to reassemble. But the facial tissue comes right off of the dies and you get this perfect clean cut die. How awesome is that? Now you're gonna have to tell me in the comments below 
if this is nothing new to you, but for me, it is something brand new. And maybe I've just been hiding under a rock or something, but I've never seen anybody do this before. And I really like it because, again, like the sensory thing, and I hate dealing with the mess of anti-static powder. Um, so I just don't like using that. But these pieces of the tissue paper are really easy to get off of your die cuts. And it really doesn't impact anything when you run it through the first time. So you might wanna just run it through a scratch piece of paper the first time and then run it through your cardstock colors that you wanted to die cut out. So again, like I said, you don't have to just use facial tissue. You could use toilet paper. You can use wrapping tissue paper. Oh, and here, the reason I'm demonstrating my back of, the, of my card labels is because do you see that shiny sticky part right there? You could actually use that on top of the paper or the and the um, release paper there in case you don't have a silicone mat to apply the dyes to. So here is some gift wrapping tissue that I wanted to show you. This is the stuff that you kind of make fluffy when you put it in a gift bag. You could use that, just watch out for colors. You don't wanna use anything that would mar the color of your colored cardstock if you're using a, like a lighter color or something. You don't wanna use red or black or something like that, tissue paper, and get that all over your die cut. But So I tried this out with the facial tissue. I didn't try toilet paper, but I know that would work as well. Um, I did try it with a piece of paper towel and all of them worked. So here's a final look at my card and to get that really sparkly look on the petals and parts of the leaves, I used this Jelly Roll Sakura pen and I'll link that in the comments in the description box below. And here's a look at my die set and I just keep them all together. So you can see I tried copy paper, I tried the tissue paper, I tried all different things and they all worked really well. So let me know in the comments below if I indeed have been hiding under a rock or if you found this helpful and it's new to you and you think you're going to be trying it too going forward. Anyway, I hope you have a great crafty day. Thanks for stopping by and I will see you in the next video. Ciao for now.